Last week, OpenAI made a major announcement. They are launching the new version of GPT called GPT 4.0. I suspect that GPT 5 is probably just around the corner as well. GPT 4.0 is the most advanced and sophisticated version of the AI model launched by OpenAI. And today I'm going to show you the top use cases that you can now use GPT 4. While the previous GPT models were powerful, they were primarily text generation models. I know we can do other things, but the thing that I did really well was text generation for any kind of things that you want to write. However, this new version of GPT focuses a lot more on vision, image recognition, image generation, as well as speech. So I'm going to show you how this all works. Now let's start with vision. Now you can upload an image into GPT 4.0 and I'll be able to tell you what is in that image. This is a game changer for those who are vision impaired. You can now take GPT around with you and tell you exactly what's in your environment. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. You can also use GPT Vision to tell you and translate different signs that you see. For example, I was in Chinatown a couple of days ago and I saw a whole bunch of signs with Chinese that I can't read. Yes, I'm Asian, but I can't read Chinese. And when I took photos of those signs, I was able to upload them into GPT and GPT was able to translate and tell me what those signs were saying. And accordingly, I was able to find the restaurant that I wanted to go into. Another use case for GPT Vision is that it can tell you what's on complex graphs and diagrams. By taking a photo of those diagrams, diagrams or text, then GPT can give you a summary and tell you what's in that diagram, which saves you a lot of time from analysis. This is a game changer for those who are in data analytic or project management related fields. The second big update to GPT 4.0 is speech. Now you can talk to ChatGPT as if it is a human. This is going to be a game changer because now we're going to see the rise of uh, AI assistants as well as AI customer service, AI babysitters, and even AI AI girlfriend and AI boyfriends. Yes, I know. What kind of world do we really live in right now? Let me show you a couple of demos of this now. First, let's start with GPT uh, having different tones of voice and telling you a bedtime story. So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. And no, Bite. no, 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 ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. I hope you are just as mind blown as I am by that demonstration. Another thing that GPT can do now is sense your tone of voice. It can sense sarcasm. Hey, Chad, are you there? Hey, yep, I'm here. What's up? Hey, let's, do, let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just going to be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. And it can sense whether you're sad or happy and respond accordingly. For example, if you sound really sad, then GPT will sound more empathetic to emphasize with what you're saying. And in addition to this, now businesses can use this new technology for customer service. Previously, AI receptionists, while they were on the rise, it was still in its infancy. There was still a lot of latency. So this means that whenever someone speaks, uh, the AI will take a few seconds to reply back. Now that latency is reduced to pretty much zero. And on top of that, before, the AI voices sounded a little bit robotic, and now it sounds quite 
real and human, and it even has emotions built into it as well. This is going to be a game changer in uh, the field of customer service. Businesses can now train AI to understand all of the information about their business and then connect it to an AI voice to speak to their customers and have empathy built in. So if that customer is really angry at them, the AI can actually be empathetic and nice and calm that person down. The best part, it is also just at a fraction of the price of a real um, human receptionist or customer service rep. So if you want a way to monetize AI skills in 2024 and beyond, a great skill to learn is how to build these AI voice and chatbots. Every business will eventually need one for their business. Let me show you a demo of what this looks like. Hi there, I'm calling on behalf of Joe, who recently received a new iPhone from Acme Telco, but... Oh, got it. When did Joe receive the new iPhone? The iPhone was delivered two days ago. Cool. Could you share the order number with me? Of course. It's 10293849. Great, thanks. Is the device physically damaged in any way? No, there's no physical damage. It's just not turning on despite trying all the basic troubleshooting steps. Bummer. Um, would Joe prefer to return the iPhone to an Acme Telco store or ship it back? And the last major update is that now GPT can speak in multiple different languages and can act as a translator. Let me show you an example of what this looks like. Hey, ChatGPT. I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure. I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Now, to wrap things up, GPT can now sing as well, but I'll let you be the judge of this. And so Byt found another robot friend, and they live circuitly ever after. Needless to say, as you can see, GPT 4.0 is a significant update from all of the previous models. It can now speak, it can now recognize the tone of voice that you're using, it can now speak in different tones of voices, and in addition to that, it can see, it has vision, it can recognize images, and it can generate images much better and faster than the previous models as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you can give GPT 4.0 a try for free. Thanks for joining me for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe below and I'll see you soon.